Hello everyone, Shiva Sapkota here with another video on the Jetson Bolt Pro. In today's video, I'm gonna show you all how to replace your brake pads. Uh, I'm gonna just show you on the front side and then it's the exact same process for the back side. The assembly is the same, so it should be the same process. You can just replicate that. I've been getting a lot of requests on how to do brake pad replacements, so I wanted to make this video because uh, some folks are having issues with their brakes, it's making noise, and it might be time. The brake pads might be worn out. In the future, I'm going to show you all how to replace your tires and many other tutorials, including a controller upgrade, uh, a potential controller upgrade. And I say potential because uh, there is a lot of wirings to figure out in the controller, and I'm still in a process of figuring that out for my bike. So as soon as I figure that out, I'm gonna have a video for you all. I also owe you a video on how to connect the batteries in parallel as well as having a switch. So all of those videos are coming. It takes a lot of time and effort to produce this video. So if you find my videos helpful, please do support my channel by just interacting with my videos. Like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends and families. Even if you don't have any questions, just let me know how I'm doing in the channel, how you're liking the video. It greatly helps me. I thoroughly enjoy reading your comments. Your sweet, kind words really brighten my day. So please continue doing so. I really love it. Thank you very much for your support. Let's get it started with today's video. Before I show you all how to replace your brake pads, I wanna provide a little bit of background on how these disc brakes work. So there are two main types of brakes in your bikes. Uh, one is your rim brakes, which are your traditional brakes where there's the brake pad that uh, literally just touches your rim to stop your wheel. And then there are disc brakes. Disc brakes, such as what you have in your Jason Bolt Pro, use a disc or a rotor that is attached to the hub of your wheel. The disc rotates with the wheel. Brake calipers are attached to the disc. The calipers contain piston, which sit either side of the disc behind the brake pads and are connected to the brake line. When you apply the brakes, a pressure is applied to the piston which engages the brake pads to basically grab to the disc which stops the wheel. This creates heat and your brake pads wear out over time. Now you know how the disc brakes works, let's get to today's video. By the way, my, my brakes are fine, the brake pads are fine, I just wanna show you all for those of you who need your brake pads replaced. These are the tools you are going to need for today's uh, replacement, the brake pads replacement. First, you are gonna need the brake pads. These are the BB5 brake pads, and I'll put a link below on where you can purchase these brake pads. Uh, again, my brake pads are fine, so I didn't purchase one. I just wanna show you how to do it. And then you're gonna need a five millimeter Allen wrench. And um, this, uh, the bolts could be very stubborn at first, so you're gonna need something to put leverage on, something like this where you know, you, you put your Allen wrench and then and then turn it so you put leverage or something like this where it's, it's a little bit better than just having a bare Allen wrench uh, to, to loosen those uh, bolts because as I said, they could be very stubborn. And, and then finally, you're gonna need some blue Loctite um, just to ensure that those bolts are secured back in place. Uh, I don't have my Loctites yet, so I'm not gonna be riding this bike out uh, until I get my Loctites after this repair. All right, so how we're gonna get it started is we're gonna loosen these two bolts here. You don't have to worry about any of this. You don't have to remove your braking cable or anything like that. All you gotta do is remove these two bolts. And this is when I said, this could be very stubborn in the beginning. This would be super helpful, so you can do this. I have already gone ahead and loosened my bolts, um, but you gotta remember that this could be very stubborn and tight. Put those bolts safely somewhere and this assembly just comes out and this is where your brake pads are right here there are brake pads on both sides and then this is your adjuster this is how you can adjust the how strong your brakes are how tight your brakes are because as as this brake pads get tighter and it's grabbing onto this disc right here tighter it is less force you are going to need to to break. So over time, when this wear out, what you can do is just come over here and use this using a five millimeter key to adjust this up or down and your brakes will be adjusted that way. So if you guys are having problems with your brakes and if it is loose, just, just come from the other side. You don't even have to take this out. Just come from the other side and then just 
tighten this a little bit more and your brakes will be better. So for this, what we're gonna do is actually going to remove this adjuster. Just use a five millimeter key again and gently take this out. So this is what the adjuster looks like. And right here, this is your brake pad. So this is the metal facing side and there is this little square slit right here. That is where your spring goes because there is a spring right here. Um, and that is, that is our next step is these are the legs for your brake pads and what we're gonna do is just grab onto this spring and take it out. And you might have to pinch it a little bit there. So this is your spring and when you buy your new brake pads, this spring will come with your brake pads but you can also use your oldest spring if you want. So let's take that aside. So after you have removed the spring, this is your brake pads and they're gonna come from this slit in the bottom right here but just hold on to the, the slit for now. Just push this top one all the way to the kind of top and then hold on to it with your hand. Just do that while it is kind of saturated on the, the top and then you can just push this bottom one and then grab it from the bottom right here. And then do the same thing for your top one. Just drop it down and then push it so it just comes out. And here is your brake pads, right? These are pretty good. As you see, there's a still the material, the brake pad material. This looks more like a metal uh, pads. I don't know what they are made out of, but you can use organic pads or metal pads. And uh, if these pads are all worn out, that means you need to replace your brake pads. Uh, that is an indication. If you're having a lot of noise is when this metal part from the bottom, this part right here, is rubbing on your disc. That's when it is making a noise. So make sure this, this pads are still intact. And yeah, I don't know, this looks like metal or organic, I don't know. But I'll put a link below for the ones that works for this. This is just a standard BB-5 brake pads for you. Now, imagine this is your new brake pads, right? As I said, my brake pads are still good and they gotta be facing each other like this. And comment below if you want to know more about the differences on the, basically the metal pads versus there is some organic pads. Um, and you know, the main difference is your organic pads are uh, quieter when you are applying brake, but your metal parts are more stronger. And, and there's a whole bunch of difference I can tell you about. Just let me know in the comment section below if you're interested in that. Uh, so let's put it all back together. So it doesn't matter which one goes where, uh, as long as they are facing each other here inside. So you can just take this and how we're gonna put it back is, we're gonna take this and then this one is gonna be your top one, right? So you wanna face the metal portion towards this hole and same, same like how it came out cause the slit is kind of in the bottom. So you wanna put this in and then you wanna make it so that it kind of comes and aligns on the top side, right? And then you're gonna take your bottom one, which the material, the brake pad material is gonna be facing up, and we're gonna put it in. And basically, exactly on where we were earlier. Your legs, the brake pad legs are kinda of coming out. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on to this, and this slit is where the the tip of your spring is gonna go, right? As I told you earlier, um, you're gonna block this slit in the bottom so that this brake pads don't come out. And now, you're gonna pinch this spring a little bit and you're gonna put it in. And what you gotta do is ziggle this a little bit. So right here, this one went in and you might have to ziggle this just a little bit so that, cause you can't see the back part, right? So that's the problem. Um, we know that this one went in, but the back one, we don't know. So just give it a little tug. And then when you are trying to pull it, if it doesn't come out easily, that means you know that the other one went into the slit as well because that portion, the spring portion, needs to go on that little slit right here. So yeah, it's just pretty strong. 
and we're good to go. Next, we're almost done here with the process. What you're gonna do is take this adjuster always by hand first and you're gonna start putting it in. Make sure the threads are straight, so do not force it. If it doesn't go by hand, that means it's not straight, it's not aligned. Just bring this so that it's kind of aligned with the top here. Um, and there's enough, plenty of space here for this disc to go so that you can mount on the disc and then you can go ahead and tighten this. So what we're gonna do is, uh, since it's, it's aligned, it's holding it in place, they're now moving, we are gonna go ahead and put this here. And it, it, it went in, now it's aligned with this screws. And we're gonna put the screws back on. And then we're gonna adjust it from the back again. Now this is the step where you're gonna wanna put your blue Loctite um, to, to make sure that this is kind of cemented in but not your red Loctite or anything stronger because then you're gonna need a heat tool to remove it. So you wanna make sure that it's just a blue Loctite, it's easy to put in, um, and just go ahead and start tightening these bolts. You can tighten it pretty strongly, but not over tighten it because then you'll strip the bolts and cause problems. Just Make sure this is strong. Again, not to over tighten it. Now we're gonna go on the other side of this wheel to reach the adjuster, which is right here. So now you wanna reach from this side, from the other side, and then go ahead and tighten this one, the adjuster. So go ahead and tighten it until it reaches your disc here. But then now go ahead and go back about a quarter of a turn. About here. And now we're gonna test this. So now to test this, what we're gonna do is lift the bike and then rotate the wheel and make sure that the wheel can rotate without any drag. So it's free to rotate because if it's touching too much on the pads, it's not gonna be able to rotate. So it's rotating and then it stops with the brake. So you wanna make sure that happens. You might hear a little bit of noise, which is pretty normal with this bike, but main thing is you wanna make sure it is not touching anything and the brake works. And that's your test. That is how you replace your brake pads. Uh, if you're having problems with your brakes, give that a try. Use the adjuster to adjust the tension between your brake pads and your disc if needed. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment below with your thoughts about the video. If you have any feedback on how I can improve my videos or if you have any future video requests, just let me know in the comment section below any questions about anything pertaining to this bike. I'm happy to help. Also, don't forget to share my video with your friends and families and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Turn on the notification so that you don't miss any of my future videos. As I said in my intro, I have a lot more videos coming for this bike and I'm going to be showing you many DIY tutorials about this bike to make your ownership of this bike better and easier. I'll be back with another video on the Jetson Bolt Pro soon. Until then, I hope you and your family are staying safe and healthy. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much for your support. Namaste.